So once we start seeing clergy come out, it's like it's like it's like an atheist wet dream. I mean, it's <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Dan Barker's making a collection of clergymen who've lost their faith, but don't dare say so because it's their only living. It's the only thing they know yeah. how to, what to do. I've and, heard and from and one of them at least. Have you? Yeah. Yes. I used to have this when I was younger in arguments with the members of the Two years ago, an academic study located and interviewed five pastors, all working within their parishes, who had, without their congregations knowing it, stopped believing in God. They were secretly atheists. Welcome, everyone, to DS Reality. I'd like to talk some more about atheism, the clergy project, and the many questions I have about active atheism. As I understand it, atheism is derived from the word theism. Theism, originally being the Greek word for God, has evolved into more of the nature of God, or how God acts in one's life. God and theism go synonymously together, yet mean different things. When talking about God, we are talking about the original source of all that we know to be true with the physical world, the ultimate truth on how we all got here. This power, force, energy, the starting point of the all that everything comes from. It's where or how the first self-replicating gene or perpetual motion started. It's this something that all of us knows exists, but none of us knows what it is. Is. Mankind, since the beginning of human consciousness, has honored this something, this whatever, with the sacred title of God. For the most part, I feel, because it starts one off on a grateful path of understanding. Although the title God does assume intelligence, it doesn't have to. It could be an abstract pointed word that means different things to each individual. We shouldn't get attached to the title. Just understand rational people know all that is comes from something. Our very existence and all that surrounds us is the proof. God, again, is an honored title that's rightly associated with this something. Theism implies this forced God plays a conscious, active role in people's lives. Providence, or divine providence, is also associated with the words theism and God. It can be confusing, I realize, using God as a title when referring to the starting point to all that is. With all the historical baggage, linguistics, or each individual's misunderstanding of words, and the fact that these words, God, theism, and providence, have many other condemnations associated with them, besides implying some force of intelligence behind the design, it's confusing, especially for people who think they know the ultimate source of all that is is not about intelligence in any way. Understanding God as a pointed word for this ultimate source is very advantageous on many different levels if we truly want to rid the world of these fanatical Abrahamic faiths and the dangerous faiths they breed. Understanding, too, that theism isn't just about Abrahamic faiths and their provable wrongful interpretation of ancient linguistics that clearly go against the laws of nature. Atheism is the lack of belief in God, theism, and providence. Those who claim they're atheists realize, like every other rational person, that all that is comes from something. They just don't want to call this something God because, of course, to them, there's no intelligence associated with the design. Make no mistake about it, this is the bottom line with the faith called atheism. Atheism and theism are both rational stances when contemplating this ultimate source. This power or force that, again, many of us rightly honor with the sacred title of God may not play a conscious, active role in our lives. There may not be any intelligence associated with this force God. Our life experiences, in the end, just may be all about randomness, luck, or chance. It's all about us. No need to thank or be grateful to this force that produces all things just so, and may not even have the capacity of any recognition. In this video, I'll not have the time to get into why theism is just as valid, or for me, more valid than atheism, and why both views can be interchangeable, depending on one's mood. Or why theism is far more beneficial for humanity than atheism is. All this I hope to talk about in other videos. Atheism, however, when actively propagated like some kind of a truth, in hopes of grouping like-minded believers under a particular concept of this starting point that some of us call God and some of us don't, is just like any other religion. None of us knows what this force is, so all of our thoughts are purely speculative. All atheists believe there's no intelligence behind the design, all theists believe there is intelligence behind the design. Again, this is the bottom line we're all ultimately arguing about. And in both cases, we're talking about faith because, as I've said, no one actually knows what's the ultimate source behind the design. Active atheists run under a few banners that they feel define them, but in the end, for me, only shows the hypocrisy of pushing atheism as another world religion. It's a big issue. There are lots of pastors out there who are in this fix. 
How many? What percentage? Nobody knows. Why is losing faith, leaving a religion, a big issue to the atheists like Daniel Dennett and the like? I could see it being a big issue for the organizations they leave, but why does the active atheist even care about these people? They say they're secular. Secularism is all about denoting things that are non-religious, yet these active atheists are constantly denoting things that are religious. Their whole platform is about other people's religion and how wrong they are, insinuating that they are somehow right on religious matters. In fact, the whole clergy project is just one clear example of how these new atheists actively seek out religious clergy or theists in hopes of converting them to their understanding on matters of God or this ultimate source that some of us call God. The clergy project is concealed as some kind of scientific cognitive Tufts University study, but it didn't start out this way. It was created by people who left the faith and now want others to join them in this new venture called atheism. These active atheists say they're so concerned about these poor clergy project people because it'd be very difficult for them to find jobs after leaving the pulpit. Family and friends would abandon them, leaving them with nothing. This is a real concern for them, and I ask why, if they're truly secular. The reason is clear, and they're not really fooling anyone. Many people in the same situation or worse as these clergy project people who have to change their lives because of the situations they've created for themselves. Drug addicts, battered wives, whistleblowers are just some examples of others they could be helping out. But these active atheists feel a need to help out the clergy, the theist, the religious. There's something clearly wrong with them and they want to help. This help, I feel, doesn't come from the love they have for their fellow man. It's all about strategy. It's the most amazingly successful con game ever invented. Why are they being screened? Why do they ultimately have to have a following, a congregation? Why are most graduates from the clergy project paid key speakers at these atheist rallies? Why do they ultimately end up writing atheistic books on how they've left their faith and are now proud atheists? The reason is clear. The clergy project is the active atheist's recruiting tool. A job fair, so to speak, where the only real job that they get you is to push their faith on matters of God. Do you really think Richard Dawkins and his cohorts would have given Jerry DeWitt or any clergy person money or even a helping hand if they didn't push their faith of atheism? Are we to really believe that just aing out would warrant a paycheck from these people? I think not. Those who've studied the likes of Mr. Dawkins and their many followers realize their disdain for people of faith other than their own. There's a reason they cherry-pick clergy members who are very influential in their communities. It's all precisely calculated to move the atheistic agenda. We know why these clergy people are carefully being screened and why they're funded by active atheist organizations proving that today's new atheists are not secular at all and are all about their own version of God that they're all clearly pushing in a religious manner. Active atheists rightly realize if you can convert the shepherd, the sheep will hopefully follow. I've lived a masquerade for 42 years of my life. In my opinion, you active atheists are offering these people absolutely nothing and put them in a worse position as the faiths they've left. These new atheists now define themselves by something they don't even believe in. Before they didn't believe the faith they pushed, now they define themselves by this non-belief. They left their faith they propagated with zealot zeal and now evangelize another with the same enthusiasm. They're all about denying other people's concept of God as if they know what this power is all about. In both cases, it's all about nothing, that they push as something, leaving them in a precarious position that, again, is worse than the ones they left. You leave them, I feel, as gullible hypocrites. They're still pushing their negative, spiritually segregating concept of their own version of what the ultimate source is on the world. The only thing that's really changed is the group of people they now preach to. Good luck with this new flock of atheists. If YouTube is any indication of what some of these new atheists are all about, I feel sorry for you clergy people who embrace what you call a non-faith that's pushed, as you say, in a non-religious manner. Religions have depended on the relative isolation and ignorance of their flocks forever. And this is all breaking down. Today's active atheism has as much to do with science as theism does. Why? Because you think there's no intelligence behind the design makes you more scientifically minded than someone who believes there is intelligence behind the design. Science doesn't mean atheism, contrary to what most active atheists would assert. All the banners the active atheists run under seem to be contrary to what they're all truly about, even humanism. 
How humane is it when you tell the world, in some cases forcibly, while demeaning a person's character and intelligence, that there is no God? There is no intelligence behind the design, so this force doesn't play a conscious, active role in your life in any way. Can you prove this? I know you can't, because you're in the same exact position as the religions you despise. So this consciousness of ours, this spirit, soul, energy, which resides in us all and seems totally separate from the physical body, has no hope of transcending it. We're all like a candle in the wind. When we burn out, we're out. So get over it and move on. Your new atheistic faith is as humane as any Abrahamic faith that says their way to eternal life is the only way. And if you don't believe as they do, you can go to hell. Again, the atheist agrees all day long that no one knows what started everything. But whatever it is, it's not about intelligence, it's not about interacting with a conscious mind, and there's no hope of a future state. So get over the God concept and be a proud atheist. This is their good news, the modern atheism. Find trade-off for you rogue ex-clergy. This really is a tipping point for religion. You clergy people have been set up. Tools to help push an atheistic agenda that they all hope someday will be a political force to be reckoned with. Secular atheism? I don't think so. Not till the world's people think like you on matters of God. Then you could be truly secular. America invented church-state separation. You are a constituency, a voting constituency, a lobbying, a lobbying constituency, far more powerful than many people in this country believe and maybe more powerful than even you believe. We are at our precipice. We have the numbers. We have the momentum. My name is Teresa. I'm an employer. I'm a pastor and I'm serving the Methodist Church, at least up to this point. <laughs> and I am an atheist. <laughs> proud atheist. More importantly, why would you try to get others to be proud atheists? For me, it's like being excited for giving someone bad news and knowing you have nothing to offer or to ease their pain. Believing there's no intelligence, no conscious active power behind the design is a rational stance, as I've said. As a pure deist, there are many moments when I feel this way, but my faith in intelligence behind the design and that this force does play a conscious active role in my life in some way is very strong. Your many atheistic lectures I've been to and have heard, atheist books that I've read so far only help to confirm my own personal truth that I'm forced to call it faith because like you, I can't prove my faith. However, I have the honesty to call my personal truth a faith. You people certainly don't. You active atheists and your many followers get downright mean when someone calls atheism a faith or a religion. And that's just what it is to the outsiders looking in. Like the Trinitarian Christian who can't see they're in a cult, you can't understand why atheism is a faith or how this faith can turn into a religion. Unless, of course, you atheists can prove what the ultimate source is that for whatever reason you refuse to call God. A religion of denial that propagates a God that is... You're far from seeing the real me. I've gone with that uncomfortable enough that I can show you who I really am because whether you like it or not, I am a preacher. And here's the deal. I'm going to be me no matter what it costs. Again, you all define yourselves by something you don't even believe in, making you all seem like blatant hypocrites, mostly, I feel, because of your own ignorance on matters of God, faith, and religion. If you active atheists were true freethinkers and really cared about these ex-clergy, you'd allow the pure deist's view as we offer the ultimate reasoning on matters of God and religion, or this first cause in a direct path of understanding, which is deism. A religion philosophy that's in complete harmony with science and reason. I've said this many times in my videos and have yet to be confronted on this truthful claim by any other faith, atheistic, Abrahamic, or otherwise. Question everything you say. Well, I question atheism, a faith that's all about nothing, and look forward to showing you all another path. A far better revolution in the system of religion that's more beneficial to the human condition and the life that surrounds us. So that we can finally get off this whole goddamned conversation that will most certainly lead us to more war and get to the real problems that plague this existence that we've all been lucky or blessed to be a part of. That's all I have to say for now. God bless. Over and out. We will heal this planet. One pure deist. At a time. So once we start seeing clergy come out, it's like it's like 
it's like an atheist wet dream. I mean, it's, 